sound is on. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. All right. Let's see. All right, I can't tell if that's a fart or poop, so let's see. All right. Um, oh, sorry. Um, so I know a couple weeks ago I said that our goal for that week was working on stairs. So thankfully, um, we've done a lot of work on stairs and not it down or at least if they don't need as much coaching most of them will do one stair at a time instead of like two stairs which a lot of them had been doing so our hard work is paying off um, so now uh, one of the goals that we're working on is getting the dogs to not pull when they don't have the harness on or their vest because a lot of the dogs they go into work mode when you put the vest on and they're like, okay, I'll pay attention. I have my vest on. Um, but when they're here on property or whenever they don't have their vest on, they're like, well, I'm not working, so I don't have to pay attention. So we're doing a lot of um, out of vest training too right now so that um, they don't need to like brace and whatever for us while they're not working but they need to know how to walk on a leash and not pull us down. Because we've had a couple close calls. Elsa is one where once the vest goes on, she goes into work mode and it's like a switch has flipped. Um, and the other day she almost pulled Pam down the hill as Pam was letting uh, Elsa go into the pond. So she's one that we're working hard with. Um, also, the dogs that are almost ready to be big bad service dogs. Um, we need to make sure that once they are big bad service dogs that they're never pulling their person because all of us here um, for the most part we can walk without assistance um, but when they go out to be service dogs I mean obviously their person needs a service dog and even when they're not on duty because all service dogs have time when they're not on duty um, they need to behave themselves. So. That was a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're just trying to get the dogs to that point. Um, Tin has already shown great improvement with that. Um, whenever we'd walk him to another field to play in or whatever, he would be a puller and then the vest would go on and he was like perfect, absolutely perfect. So uh, he doesn't do that now and he is very close to being a big bad service dog. So. Um, let's see, even in vest we have, um, or like while working, uh, we have some dogs that are still pulling, um, or they just want to walk a step ahead of you or something, and we want their shoulder lined up with our legs. Um, so we're working on that too. Um, we have some dogs that are nervous outside and um, they don't like traffic going by or trucks are terrifying so um, having that out of vest training is also good for that because I mean we're not taking any of the dogs into places um, out of vest because like you don't legally need to mark that your dog is a service dog if it's a service dog, but we like to. Um, so all of that uh, out of vest training happens on outside. So that's what we're doing. Um, so we just need to work with them better. <laughs> um, all different things. Hi Capri. Uh, all of the trainers are also working with the puppies for part of the day too. Um, so Judy spent a lot of her day working with the puppies and I spent a couple hours with the pups. Um, yesterday I worked with Capri a little bit and she was not a fan of walking on a leash. She froze just outside of the barn and was like, I am not moving until you take this off of me. 
So all of the coaxing would not work. And then when I took the leash off of her, she was like, okay, I'm gonna run to the fence so I can go play with my family. <laughs> and she didn't realize that she could not get into that area. So I, I wouldn't call it dragging her back to the barn, but uh, it took a lot of coaxing. But yeah. Um, is there any certification that is required for service dogs, like a test to pass? Are they done at SDP, or is that something the trainers decide that dogs are ready to be service dogs? So legally, you the service dog does not have to have any certification, but we are accredited through Assistance Dogs International, so we have to have a test that the dogs have to pass. It's basically a checklist of can the dogs do everything on this list. Um, so we do that here when the dogs are ready to go, um, and we make sure that the dogs can pass everything on that list. If that dog cannot pass everything on that list, that dog is not becoming a service dog yet. Um, but yeah, so there's no certification, um, but we do have a checklist that the dogs need to pass. Um, We do give a card that says um, the dog is a service dog, and it's signed by Carlene. Um, hi, big boy. Um, and we make sure that that is uh, there's a recertification process that we do, so it has dates on it. Oh, good. Um, Somebody's so. here to talk to everybody. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so. Recipients do have that, but it's not necessary. Oh shit! I forgot my mask. <laughs> oh, well, there's one right there's here. There's one right on the. Oh, mic. Cool. <laughs> That's Thank you. We got it. <laughs> wow! You don't eat it. Hey, Benny. He's good boy. Hi. Yes, he's very nice boy. Um. So we're also working on downstays now that all the pups. Uh, can walk on a leash and aren't terrified of the leash. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I worked with four pups on downstays and a lot of them, um, like immediately, like I didn't have to touch the puppy to get it to go into a downstay. And some of the pups, one of them, Victor, did it on the first try. And I was like, this is so weird. Like, must be a coincidence. He was probably gonna lay down anyway. So then we did some other stuff because we don't want them to just repeat everything like right in a row because we don't like walk in circles we don't do that so we did something else and then we came back and i asked the pup to lie down again um and the pup did so i was very impressed today um the pups i did not, i worked with did not uh take to that as well as they did yesterday so some of them you have to like i call it scoop the butt if you put your arm behind their back legs and not like push, but put some pressure there, they'll sit down and then you can usually coax them into lying down. So none of them have a verbal downstay down yet, but they're on the road to success. Um, one of the pups I worked with, Quinn, was not a fan of walking on the leash with me, but he did want to go into the um, car. So um, I opened the back hatch because I was just going to have him look in the car and he just jumped in and I was like, oh my goodness. And then he laid down and he was like, okay, I'm just going to stay here. So I couldn't, he didn't want to come out of the RAV. So we just practiced having the hatch closed. So I thought he'd freak out or whatever, but he was just like, I'm going to take a nap. You do whatever you want. Um, just leave me alone. So that's basically what happened. So we closed the hatch and opened it, closed the hatch and opened it. And he was like, yeah, and he was very good. Um, Percy also wanted to go into the RAV, so we did that. Uh, he was not as much of a fan of the hatch closing because he's like, no, I want to be with you. He's like, I came in here so that I could be taller. <laughs> I don't know. I like putting words in the dog's mouth. Um, but I'm so impressed with these pups. They're learning so fast. Um, 
Judy today said that Larky was one of the best that she had. So she walked him and did downstate practice. He's just such a love. He's got a hold of that. He can chew that He was like, no, that's my mom. What is that? Oh, that's the man. We got, we got two seconds. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have to watch yours over there, too. See her over there? Get it. Do you guys have any other questions yes, for me? to get to 100 pounds or over, but we're getting there. She's very close, um, but she's not losing any weight, so that's the important part. Uh. Let's see. <laughs> he loves you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they play with the monkey fist. Oh, yeah. I, I cleaned up the monkey fist and got rid of the ones that weren't quite right. <laughs> and he's got one and Lockie's got one. Everybody loves the monkey fist. Wait, it's the monkey fist. <laughs> That's Lockie. Uh, oh, is that yours? And then Big hey, Bad Bentley's just grumbling over here. He's not a puppy person. That's okay. But he's a I good boy. Good um, good so, just in the next week we're going to be working more with the puppies. Trying to get them used to going in the car, because um, they know how to go up a ramp now, so maybe we can do some car rides. I know Carlene has done one car ride with them, but they need to get more experience with that. And then as they get better with putting on their leashes, um, we'll be able to take them out. Where is the B A? It's uh, Jim's turn to thrill us all with his <laughs> escapades. It's the Jiminy show. <laughs> well, he thinks so. Yeah. Ready for the Jimmy show? <laughs> He's Where's a good basket. Okay, so we did all that. America's Full Service Outdoor Illumination Company. Wow. Oh. How do they get uh, your name? You're not going to believe this. That's what the topic of my conversation is tonight. Because I think behind you, you have the battery which goes to this. That's why it was so heavy. That little tiny box weighs about. Five this is Goldie. This is what I mean about Goldie. Oh, yeah. 
Why would I've never had one like this before? America's illumination service. Interesting. I'm trying to get better lighting in the arena. Yeah. And we had this in the overflow room. Yeah. Which weighs a ton. Yeah. And has a battery, which I took out right now. And it's in there because, yeah. and I ordered another battery because this this has been around for a couple of years. Yeah. So uh, and it's a it's a million watt. You know, I think if we just shine this into the into the ceiling of that arena with the white ceiling, uh, yeah. I think you'll get enough light to do anything. I don't like the halogens because it burns things down, but I, I think this, you know, a portable halogen maybe I can live with. Yeah. Um, the spotlights we had for the arena were halogen, and I, they always made me nervous. Yeah, yeah. Don't they And we have a, an envelope that makes you yeah, that's different. slightly dizzy here to cool. try and figure out how to get into it. Mm-hmm. Wow. There Not easy go. looking at that. No, I know. Like one of those eye exams. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. Thank you, Jim. Here we go, now. Oh my, she, she was like 10 chicken bricks. I better put that there before I put the phone. Ron Phillips, I know that Call name. Call from Phillips, Ron. Service dog project? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that again. Thank you. Bye. We were on highlights during the halogen light. Oh. So we may oh. have to talk about that again. Oh, okay. Well, maybe when you open the battery. Open the battery, yeah. okay. Does this person, did they tell you their first name? The, it's just initials on the... Nancy. Nancy, okay. Jiminy has such a devoted fan club. Might you ever consider a, a win a date with Jimmy fund? <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Winner could spend a no expenses paid day at Crazy Acres with his most <laughs> eligible bachelor. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I'm sure the bids would come flying in with his debonair ways, his wit, his charm, and that sleek sophistication. Those dashing good looks, his con continental taste for escargot mail. <laughs> he sounds like the next James Bond. He's already got that striking Merle tuxedo. Bond, Jimny Bond. Yeah. Kibble Finney. <laughs> shake not, shake and not stir it. Oh, isn't that funny? That is funny. That is pretty funny. He's got a new name, Jiminy Bond. Jiminy Bond. There we go. You want to tag on to that yeah, one? Yeah, that's, that's funny. Let everybody read it. What's this? Now, did you, this is just the note? Yeah. And, uh, oh, the 10 chicken bricks she's getting. Okay. Oh, no. 
I didn't. No, give that to me. Yeah, you need this. I need that because I put this over here. Yes. She's and that has to have that. Yeah, she's got ten. Put that in here. And I better put a ten on it. Bond. Jiminy Bond. <laughs> okay, and this I think is from my sister, so that goes in the pot. Yeah. That goes in the pot. Okay, and we have Attention Linda. Well, now what? Are we, oh, she's not here. She's not here. No, not today. It doesn't say Linda only, but it says attention. Well, we'll give it to Linda, so I don't get to read that one sometimes. Okay. Toyota owner, it's going to fall apart if you don't do something about it. I'm sure. It's making a funny noise. I'll say that. Is it? Yes. Uh, probably a squirrel stuck underneath it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, and here we have Fidelity Charitable. Fidelity Charitable. It's needed most. Well, isn't that very nice? Kathy Picard, Campbell, California. That's very nice, Kathy. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. We'll put that in the pot. Okay. And we have Joyce Quinn. Has an ominous feel about it. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think maybe I'll leave that till later. Okay. Okay, and here's Nancy McNitt. Which I think is another personal thing. Yep. My how the my how the time flies. Okay, that goes in back in there, then that goes in here. And we have Martha. Cornelia, Georgia. What are you eating? Oh. What's he eating? What's he doing? Oh, he got a container of dog food. Martha. He's picking stuff up. He is. You know how I always say that you can't make a retriever out of a Great Dane? Yeah, we There's have. one right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's Martha. She wants a couple chicken bricks. Okay. And that could go in there. <laughs> Avoid complainers and have a... Have a happy Thanksgiving. I know you have no complaints at Crazy Acres, so enjoy. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Is this pumpkin pie organic? I can't eat that. I'm vegan. Is the turkey keto friendly? <laughs> oh, dear. That's pretty funny. Okay. There you go. Okay. This will be an interesting one. This guy. I just, you can have that.
It's a bill that's so long that it comes, you can't get to the number until you get to oh, the three pages later here. Well, that's not bad. That's a that's a that that's second only to the trash bill. Oh. My favorite. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the guy who does all our paperwork. Oh, he's he's worth it. years. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. from Arlene Whipple, Plainville, Connecticut. Look out. We're probably opening the bottom, but I think maybe that's the easiest way to go right now. Oh, goody! A toy box. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait, we've got to get into it. Wait a minute here. It's got other things in it that aren't, you're not going to want that. Look out here. Here, you want to hold these? Yeah. Well, I'm going to need help. Plastic bags. There's all kinds of funny things in here. Oh my, oh my goodness, it's a big bag. Reese's Thin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy. Then, then he's <laughs> yeah, those were a real treat. We had those before. <laughs> Did we? Oh my goodness. Oh my heaven. Oh. Oh, Reese's Minis. Wait a minute. Don't chew on that thing. Here, wait, we've got to have. Oh my goodness. Wow. You know, Linda was just saying the other day, I wish I had a mint to put in when she gives a, a thing of food to somebody out oh. the window. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> there's, there's a mini. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, more mints. Oh my goodness. Oh my word, look at all these things. It's look, nice and there's more! There's more of these minis. What did she do here? What is she doing to us? Who would have thought all this would fit in one small yes. box? Yes! <laughs> look out! Look out! Put down your nose out of the way. Get your nose. Go bite them. Those are ours. I didn't see anything. Treats. I'm working on it. So. My goodness. A lot of Reese's in here. And then. Oh boy. Then we have. <laughs> Poo pickers. Oh, good. We need poo pickers. Yeah, you want to take those? Take those, yeah. Dinner mints. Oh my goodness. That's funny. There, that's that's that. Well, Goldie again. Yeah, yeah. Linda was just asking for the mints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fiddle faddle, caramel oh, that's popcorn good. with peanuts. Well, that's enough to keep my us going goodness. for a while. Here, we'll put this one back in there. Oh size. my, that'll go to the kitchen. Yeah, right. Oh, well, thank you Before very much. Before it hits my bedroom. That will be enjoyed. Okay. That's very pretty good. We didn't get. You need another cookie somehow? He does. He's disappointed there was nothing in there for him. We'll put some down here. We won't tell anybody. Okay. Now, here's the heavy, little tiny box that weighs so much. That weighs so much. Right, I know what that is, I think. I think it's the battery for that thing. 
but I think we have to charge it first. And the other thing I have coming is the charger. Look out. Look out. Oh, Jesus, I'll say that's heavy. Yeah. There's a box for Linda. Oh, that is a good size, yeah. And here's the battery. That's exactly right. And I'm not going to put it in right now. Because it's going to do some odd things. <laughs> okay. So, that okay. was your... That's Adam. that, and you're going to do this. Did you want to explain that halogen again, since it was oh. blanked out by the? Well, we have a we had a a piece of mail here that came in wanting to improve on the exterior lighting of the place, which I've never had before in my life. And it was yesterday that Lynn said she wanted to have more light in the barn, in the arena. And so I, I got the, the halogen light that I, that was in our, an armor flow room. It's made for boats and it's supposed to be 10 million kilowatts or something weird. So I have a feeling if we just shoot that at the ceiling, that white ceiling in the arena, it'll light up the whole place. So I ordered a, a battery and the next thing I know I'm getting advertisements yeah, that's about yeah, I'm lighting the exterior. It's crazy. Are you going to do yeah, this? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move over. <laughs> okay. Ah, and peek at this while you do that. I'm just, I'm sitting here thinking maybe when you ordered that battery, you know how things are today out in yep. cyberspace, some link Somebody. perhaps to that lighting yep. place, and next thing you know, you're connected to something else. All right, let's see where we start here. Okay, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Applause for Jiminy getting the basket. <laughs> That's funny. Counts a lot. Okay, just when you think you might have seen everything, there is a series starting on Netflix Wednesday called We Are the Champions, which has a segment featuring dog dancing. The uh -huh. photo shows a guy dancing with a dog. Other episodes, which are a half hour long, include, according to the NYT, competitive cheese rolling, yo-yo, and extreme hairstyling. Uh -huh. What are they going to think of next? Well, there's a lot of fun you can have with dogs that don't involve getting people involved, so it's, that could be a good thing. <laughs> Sharon is saying, seems like everything is a little out of whack this evening. It, it usually is. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're here. <laughs> Let's see, live again. Just, yeah, I guess the highlights came on right at the beginning. Look at that. See, I'm saying all cameras were off. Must have been a power outage somewhere. Let's no, they, they, do, they do something at 5 o'clock. Oh. It just happens to be when yeah. we're on, that's all. But it comes right back on, usually. Yeah, Amy is saying back live at 5.05. .05. Yeah. Oh, uh, Council Act is also saying 45 yeah. minutes back, Jiminy, in the sunroom on the photon. She thought it might be the coffee or thermos, water thermos that she gave Colleen. It actually wasn't, it was something of, it was one of Pam's. Oh, it wasn't mine. <laughs> Sorry, no, Pam. No, mine, I've still got mine. Yeah. I, I, I live by mine. That's the person that gave me two of them? Uh, I don't know, but it's fine. I Colleen's carry those two fine. all the time. <laughs> yep. Um, Jean Hushpup mom is saying, I'd love to win a date with Jiminy. 
Jiminy Bond. Yep, he has a new name. Um, be short. Carlene, in today's Daily Doggy, you mentioned Kinos and Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Oh, okay. This the, you know how when you're using the, you're dictating. Sometimes oh. they get the words mixed up. We know Gemini is Jiminy, but what does Kinos mean? It it misinterpreted what you said and and. Oh, it must, it must be full of stuff. Recorded something as Kinos. I go I go through it and look for really obvious ones, but I missed that one. Yeah. I, I don't know. I have noticed Gemini is Kinos. is uh, Jiminy, but Kinos. I don't know. Keynotes? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's just something for Linda. Oh, for the monkey fist chipping. That, we, that, there's just, it's just too complicated for us to figure out how much each one is to ship. So we're just asking people to add something for shipping. Oh. Because the, the shipping, the postage, goes from $3 to about $12. Yeah. So there's no way that we can make it anything standard. Yeah. So just put in a few extra bucks for shipping and we'll go, go from there. Okay. And Punky in New York is saying, you can order from the doggy bag. I had no problem. They came in a brown envelope individually in another clear envelope with a cute surprise. That's okay. Wait, there's more. Oh, Bobbity is saying, did you notice how Chaos's head popped up when she heard Linda? Oh. She's very devoted. <laughs> um, yes, Reese's. I don't know, Linda, Linda Gallo, if you act now, you can get a second box for just the shipping. I'm not sure what that is. Um, well, that's what they always say. Let's see. Uh, Jen in Ohio. Chaos, chaos caught you giving Jiminy treats. Oh, she doesn't miss anything. No. Okay, this is Jean Hushpup Mom saying something we were just talking about. Um... Text me if I'm wrong, but halogen lights, I think, run very hot and expensive. LED lights are bright and cheap. Right. This is very cheap because we own it already. Yeah. yeah. Although I had to buy a battery. Uh, Barb F. in Florida. Yes, we found the travel mug that Jiminy was chewing on earlier, and then shortly after that, he had a mask that he found <laughs> somewhere. Oh yeah, Fernanda's saying, for sure, Carlene, everyone knows where we are, what we buy, where we eat, and so on and so forth. No privacy anymore. It makes you wonder if there was some kind of could a be. link. Could be, could uh, be. Indy Dunes. Hi, Carlene and Cindy, how was your Monday? And did you have any wind from the storms to the south of you last night? No, not that I noticed. I didn't. I did see it was raining pretty hard, but... I didn't get up and do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> so what did you do today? Did you have a project today at all? I really didn't leave my room much. Oh. I, the, the, oh, don't get me going. The computer, oh. I, 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 I just seem to have a terrible time. I caught it saving a bunch of stuff to something I never knew was on there. So, something that has my name connected to it with capital letters. Carlene White yeah. personal file or something like that. And it's been downloading a whole bunch of stuff to that. Oh. You know? So as I go back through I went I went to the Microsoft the, the word word processing. Mm -hmm. And you know how they have the most recent stuff you've I went down through that, and it's been filing stuff to some place I never heard of. Really? And with a, with the wrong name, you know, with the name 
Oh dear. You know, I mean, it's 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 bad. It, it and why I have eight different Google accounts, I don't know. But I cannot keep it straight. Yeah. There's no way. And there, every once in a while, there's an email that goes astray. It's very unfortunate because people get mad at me like I haven't answered them. I answer everything. But it's somewhere. That it's you somewhere lost it. in my computer. Uh, Betsy in Washington. I don't believe Martha's chicken brick card made it to the drawer. Um, I think she did. You, you handed it to me, but then I handed it back, Betsy. There so, it is. Yeah, we, we got it here. No, it's that is one. The, oh, it's that one? Oh, okay, we got it. Got it. But it's always <laughs> good to you. check. Yeah, thanks for the Please do check. reminder so we could check. Uh, Lila May, do you need pet tabs? I don't know. I don't feed. You feed. Do you need pet tabs? I don't feed in the morning, and that's when they get their pet oh. tabs. Pam? Yes? Do we need pet tabs? I do not think we do, but let me go look. Oh, okay. Okay, Pam, uh, Pam's going to check, Lila May. Who is on tonight? No, we have enough. Oh, we're good for the pet tabs. Thank you. Is it Heather tonight? Claire. Claire tonight. Okay, Denise, it's Claire. We have a very good uh, new volunteer, mother and daughter. They were here Sunday. Yes, that is um, Mary who goes to Essex Aggie. Something like that. Yes, and her mother is a teacher that was involved with Laura. Okay. New Laura. They're going to keep coming Sundays 10 to 2. I hope. Yep. I, w I would put them on all the time. Well, that's their availability. Huh? Yeah, I... I they, they, that's when they can come, and I told them to come every Sunday. So. Okay. But if they have any time during the week? Well, she's in school. Well, I mean, whatever, whatever, stop. whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I would try and get them here as much as you can, because that kid could be another Laura. Okay. Okay. All she needs is a little training. Uh-huh. <laughs> DJ Moose. My favorite dictation phrase was Gemini and Frizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it, it's comical. It's, it, yeah, I know, but you're all going to have to figure it out. I, need, I can't pick them all out. Uh, it's so nice to have it, though. Oh, yeah. Punky in New York, let the bidding begin. <laughs> Diane says, I think a good fundraiser would be a day with Jiminy. Lots of people would bid. <laughs> They'd be good. A day with Jiminy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yep. He's a good boy. He's fun. He is fun. And he's very obedient when you, of you course. Know, he gets into stuff, but you ask him to do something and he does it. Of course. A good boy. That's what my dogs do, <laughs> usually. Uh, Fernanda's suggesting maybe somebody else here can check on that computer and sort stuff out. Oh, I just. Uh. Oh, Punky. I guess she's on Long Island. We had tornado warnings last night here on Long Island. How were you? We didn't have anything remarkable here. No, I, we had in the afternoon it was a little windy, but not enough. To everything still where it's no, supposed to be. No, nothing blew right? up or off. Nothing blew away or blew down. D is saying you you need a tech person just like you need an accountant. You could all use a tech person. Yeah. I use Pam. <laughs> yeah. She's good at that stuff. Um, any other questions? No, we're waiting to see if there are any on delay. Have you thought about supper? There's clam chowder in there. Oh, that, that, that's it. Doesn't Perfect. that sound yep. like it? Yeah. I just, oh, I, I, I tried to order it too. I don't think I pushed the pay now button. I'll go do oh, that. Oh, yeah, Donna defrosted one earlier today, yeah. so that'll be good. Good night for it. That's perfect. Well, we've got a picture of the mother donkey and the baby. Uh, how do you decide where the volunteers go to help? <laughs> we just start shuffling them in. Mm. See what they like to do or want to do or whatever. Whatever needs doing. Cute picture someone sent of Mama and the baby and the goats in the background and okay. Well, that may be everything. 
Okay. All right. Well, we're we'll off go, and running. We'll go heat up the clam chowder and. That would be wonderful. A cup of clam chowder. And Reese's peanut butter cups. No, you got there. it. You got it. <laughs> well, one more quick comment. Oh, thank you, Fernanda. Good night, ladies, and a great day tomorrow. Night. Good night. Thank you.